Surely in this situation it can never be a two star. Like come on. What's up guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you two pretty well amazing clan war attacks. The second one you'll see but both are amazing clan war attacks so without further ado let's get straight into the raid. So first attack here we have an R number 8 Ash who's our highest town hall 9 attack and then highest town hall 9 as well which is their number 7. This And he's got quite a weak base looking at his heroes. Level 10 Queen, level 14 King for their highest town hall 9. But still, he has a maxed out base, defense-wise, not walls. But yep, so he start. He's going. He's coming in with the Golar Loon strategy. And let's just see how he goes. So first off, he puts the two golems on the side of a queen. Spreads out his wizards very nicely. The wizards are gonna take that one. Wizard is gonna take out that archer tower there. So that is amazing. And yep, look how look how the range those wizards took out. All the wizards do die, but now he puts his heroes in. No hesitation because he doesn't need to hesitate because look, they're not going to walk around. Where, can, where are they going to walk? They go straight to the middle. So in a clan castle, you did have a lava hound. That lava hound's about to pop. And there you go, it pops. And yep, it's, lava hounds are good distraction troop, but they're not doing any damage in comparison to a dragon if you had it in a clan castle. So yep, golems then still stand healthy. I think maybe not there's only one goal might but anyway the balloons do come down and so the lava lava hounds and yep three air defenses left he did take out one air defense in his start and <clears throat> at the moment how does it look he has no spells left two air defenses still standing at the moment it doesn't look too good but if you just take a look at the archer queen she's still standing and look how many balloons left over there's no more lava hounds but just look at the balloons and more balloons coming from the bottom so that air defense is literally gonna get smacked by the queen and the balloons and yep now it does look like a three star and we can just speed it up while the troops just have to deal with the rest of oh the queen dies never mind but it's still a three star lava hound the balloons and lava pup still stand so that's brilliant and the connection of course fails but Luckily, it disappears right now. So, yep, I'm just going to bring you my second attack here, which is my favorite one of this war. So, with my favorite attack here comes our number six, Jan, attacking their number two, Louis Fanka. And he's coming in with the mass golem attack strategy. I think that's two golems on the left, two golems on the right, and three down the center. Uh, I'm not going to do the math, I can't be bothered. And, yep, he spreads out all his wizards nicely in the back. Four jump spells used and one rage, so I think that rage is for the center or when the clan castle troops do come out. We'll just take a look now, but all is looking great at the moment. Most of those Inferno strings are on the golems, and from that one multi in target Inferno Tower, the other one is a single target. And yep, all is looking quite good at the moment, just as long as the troops come into that core where the last jump spell is. The king isn't going to do it and he will die eventually. Um, the queen, oh, she's heading off to the sides as well. Alright, so he secured 50%. There is some damage on the town hall from some troops, but it doesn't look good. Like, any troops are going to get the town hall here. All the golems are in the center. About, oh, that's every single golem that's in the center. And the queen is going to die off soon. And once she dies off after the ability, all we have left is golem, so... If we just take a look at the golems and yep just to give you a little hint the golems do do splash damage when they explode and look at the town hall health one golem left none of us thought this was going to be what the outcome is going to show we all thought oh, god's sake jan why are you attacking too high but as we can see seven seconds left the golems just about to explode and bang, it takes out the town hall so that was an amazing raid. Honestly, didn't expect it. It was seven golems. It, it was a seven golem attack strategy, and oh, that is the most clutchest raid attack you'll ever get in Clash of Clans. It doesn't get any better than that. So, yep. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was an amazing attack. That attack was definitely worth watching. Didn't expect that outcome, but we did win the war 50 to 33. 
and yep, it was a brilliant war, and anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did for that amazing attack there, and subscribe if you haven't done so, and that's it from me guys, and bye bye.